Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we have a beautiful flowers here that left from my uh, Women's Day. March 8th was International Women's Day, so my husband brought flowers for me and my little girl. And since we have a beautiful flowers, I thought we're gonna do something very interesting, something that I really, really love to do and that's making a mold, silicone molds from uh, silicone putty, putty. <laughs> and for this example, like this uh, light, light pink rose, and you can see they have a beautiful, uh, uh, like a lines print on it. So this petal would be really good for it. Um, some roses more visible, um some some not so you can see like in here is not much uh for example this orange one not as much now we have here the red one um you really have to find the rose that is the most uh visual you can see all those lines so in this uh we have here like a whole bunch of different colors and this pink one is the most visible. So I'm gonna actually grab a couple of these petals and we go downstairs to my craft room and we will try to recreate a mold for our future project. And I will show you a tutorial how I do that. So I will see you in a bit. Hey guys, let's continue. I pick in here some petals from roses and I want to show you that some roses you can see veins better than the other so here's example of yellow petal um, this one actually could be good as well let's just get a focus a little bit this on the inside and here's the outside more visual okay so you just pick roses that is more as possible for example this is the first leaf which is not very great condition like on the outside but if you want to make a mold for a little tiny flowers I think this one would be great because you can see how um, like this this line is really visually good now let's see on the inside I can feel them but it's still um, not as much now let's see this pink one here's the inside you can see all those lines oh this shot is really good you can see and on the outside it's beautiful you can see how your mold can be good be very very good I did break a little bit the sleeve but it's not gonna be very much in trouble if you just do to this kind of um, now here is the white one well not white one it's really like a very very light pink color but in this one I would say the most veins is visible look how beautiful so when you're gonna mold the clay or even sugar flowers this one I think it will be the best um, not very pretty in here but I thought maybe we can make it all we need is really kind of like a this this part because the other one when you shape in your flower you can just ruffle up with your fingers or other tools um, so what we have here so I'm just still not convinced which one I want to use I think I'm gonna use this one because I, I like it but I do have not much left I have this two components of uh, silicone putty and there's not much left but I really want to try and feels like white one was less in the package than purple one 
and what's the good about two different colors because then you can see very well how to mix it so it's uh, will come to one even color and that way you will know when to hold up I'm just gonna grab a little tiny spoon so we're gonna get evenly so I'm gonna scoop white one I'm just gonna get like an half in here you can see what I'm doing and I'm not sure well no I think it's gonna be even too much I'm just trying to figure out because you know what I'm gonna grab like fourth of that I think because when I add purple it's gonna be too much and hopefully we can make a more than just one mold we'll see which one gonna be better sorry if I'm off the camera I'm just gonna warm up this a little bit and you have to use this one 50 50 one to one so make sure your ball is same color same color white I mean same uh, same measurements you can wait in or you can just visualize and scoop kind of like same amount so we will try to get this purple one it's like it looks really oily I have this for quite a bit so hopefully it's still good it will stay good as long as it's not touching each other okay so let's see if we what do you think white maybe a little bit bigger I need a little bit more purple something stuck okay um, I think now maybe too much let me just roll a little ball and see okay it looks like the same now so we're gonna mold now put on the top okay I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna mix it two colors together and you have to do this this particular mold party you have to do fast because it's hard and fast like in 20 or 30 minutes your mold could be ready so you want to mix it really good to get rid of all those white lines it has to be come to exact same purple color with no streaks so just keep mixing it very quickly you will feel how it's combined together and get kind of like a warm you will feel like it's warm so just mix it, it mixes really fast as you can see it's already it's already one color so now I just have to make it like a smooth bowl and make sure I don't have any lines okay nice and smooth no cracks in here so now I'm gonna grab my petal I put in here on the beginning of my rose right up there and then I'm gonna gently from this corner spread evenly this rose without trying to try not to break petal petal just keep spreading spreading all over your flower petal so the less air will get under your mold then better and I already a little bit 
brake pedal on here sometimes pedal more straight it's easier to work sometimes well I have a little bit of broken here I will uh, will try to get them just smooth it out there's a, like a wrinkles up there and a little bit broken so I'm gonna oh, a little bit broken in here I will try to kind of bring this together and then you you can shape it up like curvy at like petal shape of the petal don't make it straight just like that and this clay will harden pretty fast I would say in 20 minutes from now we can check and have to check if your mold is ready or not it's very easy because if you put your finger like this and you see print it's mean your mold is not ready yet but if you push it and it's give you resistance then you know your mold is ready to be demold okay now I'm just gonna put right now this mold on something um, I can even use my measuring cup and just put on the top like that and let this rest like this on my table and maybe I need a little bit something wider because this petal are big so I'm just gonna use this like this so it can get shape of the petal and I will be right back in here when we have this side settle and we're gonna do the other side so see you in a bit okay we can see here I was holding on one of my barrels and I would say it has been maybe 10 minutes not maybe even but if I push now it doesn't make uh, any mark from my nails it's already resistant so you can't mess up now but if I have to demold I have to wait at least half an hour till it's fully fully cured but we, because we're not demolding yet we're gonna continue mold but now from inside so what we're gonna do now I'm gonna mix another same amount you can use less if you want to but we want to make two part of mold not just one if you want a one you just demold right now and you have your mold but because we want to have two parts so when you put your clay inside and then you press with the other one you will have perfect petal with all those wines from outside and inside of your petal now if you will make this mold for example for sugar flowers for your cakes uh, please do not use this patty you have to buy silicone that it's food grade which is provided to use for the food this one only good for your DIY project um, clay porcelain clay uh, you know your um, other clays uh, whatever you want to do with uh, but not for the food it, you have to make sure when you buy stuff you want to use for your cakes flowers you have to say that this is silicone is food grade so it's safe for you to use for food this one is not so I will never use this one for my sugar flowers as I like to make so now what we're gonna do we're gonna place this ball on the inside in here and I'm gonna press just for this petal sticking out I'm not gonna touch this part of the silicone because it will stuck together 
but I will spread it out uh, spread it out gently to the sides and try to keep a shape of this mold so I don't damage too much oopsie keep going away after the camera just like that and if you're making a mold for somebody not for yourself for example or maybe you're making a mold to sell and make some extra cash then I would suggest to use gloves so you don't have your fingerprints on the silicone that you sell and to some other people to use nobody need your fingerprints okay I'm just but it's not easy to do with slow nails I'm just sticking here see my nails I'm trying to smooth it out the spot so I don't have big print of my nail okay so I think this is good enough right now and I'm just gonna put right now just like this put on a table because this part already dry it's not gonna distort of the shape so now I'm just gonna put like this and will wait for at least half an hour till it's dry now before uh, I did another one the one that I had the smallest one and I decided to try even it had some kind of like a ruffles in here but I want to try if this leaf because I really kind of liked the uh, it's little shape much smaller petal so maybe veins will be good for like a small small project to do flowers so I'm gonna do same thing as I just did we're gonna create one more and I'm just gonna get this same amount as you can see I'm gonna be left with a little bit of the purple because when I bought it from store, it was already smaller kind of part. I could see visually that it was um, like it's supposed to be 1.4. Here's the measurements. And I could tell visualize that that wasn't the case. It was less than that in purple one. So now I'm just going to mix this two together. This one empty now. I can use for something else to store and I'm gonna mix again and we're gonna make one more mold for a little one and then we're just gonna leave them alone for at least half an hour and then I will come back and we will demold them and hopefully pleasant surprise by making a good quality mold and you never know what you will get to your demold sometimes could be bad sometimes could be good depends especially up there I have a little bit pedal broken because it was really like it's not very flat pedal um, but we'll see we'll see and I definitely need to buy more of the silicone because this is something I love to do and you guys if you didn't see my um, I was showing video I have how many molds I have I can link it up for you and you will see it's gonna be in a corner you can check it out um, and I don't know that corner that corner you can see the video how many molds I made so in the summertime when all those beautiful leaves and the bushes and the trees with good quality of um, of lines I always pick them up and try to make uh, molds, especially good molds from hydrangea. Okay, we do the same same thing. We're gonna put on the inside, and I'm just gonna squish in the middle and pull it to the sides, kind of firmly push, but not too much because you have to remember our mold not as strong yet, so you still have to be careful. And this one, little one, gonna be a little 
chubbier and thicker. Oh, my nails. Okay, I really have to do my nails, guys. It's overgrown. It's four weeks now. And I have to change it. I just didn't figure out yet what kind of design I want. That's kind of slowing me down. But I'm going to do some tests on my nail tips and see which color I like the most. So if you guys like to join me on my beauty channel, more than welcome. And we're going to do nails together. Okay, so now I have them. Two, I'm going to leave them like this for half an hour. And when I come back, we will see what we got. And hopefully something good. And I will prepare, I will grab some uh, clay so we can try to mold and see if it's work, if it's pretty or not, what we made, okay? So I will see you in half an hour from now. Okay, so this has been now maybe 30, 40 minutes, I think 40. There's nowhere to rush, I let them set really good and we have a two mold in here. And we're gonna unmold the bigger one first. So, the moment of truth. So, you guys ready? I'm ready. This is so exciting. It's always so exciting. Okay, so we're gonna peel our first. We're just gonna have to separate them first. And you see how easy that is. A little bit of leaf stuck in here, but it's really easy to come in out. So let's see our first mold will be created. Because of those wrinkles in the leaf. So you can see this ridges, but I think if you mold it out something, it should be okay. There's the close up. So this is go this is from the back of the flower. So now let's see what we have from this side. Where's the camera? Let's peel this leaf. And it's a little bit stuck. I will have to probably wash it. Okay, this one definitely stuck harder than I thought would be. It's still easy. It just the uh, leaf got kind of like almost like cooked, you know, soft. So it's stuck. I will have to rinse this under the water and I will show you later, I guess. So let's see this the other one. Put this mess on the side and let's check it out the little one that I thought would be actually even better. So let's check it out. Ready? Pick it together. Okay. So here is what we created. Don't know. This shiny spot, it means didn't get too close to the leaf, so it was uh, like an air bubble, probably between. Um, I'm not sure, like when I look in like this way, it looks like lots of veins in here, but we will see how this is gonna work. So now, let's see if this side will come out better. Now this mold is gonna be from the inside of the petal, and see which one did better job I can see few bubbles I'm telling you when you have a long nails it's not easy to actually create something because I can't really um, like a press too close but here are this this side of the mold and all I see is wiggle in here, the way the leaf went, but 
I don't see too big. Okay, this center one, kind of like a more visible. So we will see to print it. Um, but on the inside, much better. So you just like press later together like this. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna go right now. Sorry about that. I'm gonna rinse this under the water so the leaf would come out easy, easily and I will be right back and we will try to print it out okay so I washed this piece now it's the leaf is came out nicely and I use actually this little brush just wash it with water soap even water and I wash very well so now let's see what we're gonna have. I have here a polymer clay a little bit and we're gonna roll it out pretty thin to see what we can have. This is too big piece but mm. Well, it's okay. It's a big piece, but we can... Well, you know what? We don't need that much. Let's just use this little tool and pretend this is our petal. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to put inside in here, all the way flat, and with our other side that we created two pieces of mold. We're going to put inside the way they fit together, and then we're going to press everywhere, as hard as you wish. And I did not roll my clay too, too thin. Just, I just want to see what kind of result we're going to have. If we're going to see any of those lines or we're going to try one day more. Okay, so here is my petal and we want to see obviously I roll too thin. This side, okay, but let's try something else. I'm gonna grab just a little tiny bit right now create a little bowl and let's pretend we are making a very little tiny flower so we don't need to do on a whole thing we just want to create something little and we're gonna put this exactly where we have the most of our wrinkles in those molds and then a little bit now my clay is really really soft because I conditioned before I turn my camera on so we don't waste too much time okay I did very little bit piece in here because I'm saying my clay a little bit over condition. So anyway, what we have here, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of veins in here and on another side. And now if you create the flower, you just would go, okay, it was a gold sparkle now I have on my clay because I was working with some gold leaf in here it's okay so now you just like ruffle up the very very edges of your flower 
to thin them out and create the ruffles like you would have in rows those edges okay you can see that now it's look like a petal it has a ruffles we have a veins and now if you can just um, put to shape it to shape it off on something for example if you baking this in an oven because it's polymer clay you have to shape it up on a piece of foil maybe underneath to create the petal shape or um, if you making it with a homemade cold porcelain you kind of leave it for a while to a little bit dry out and then clay would give you more kind of like it's half would be dry but still keeping a shape and easy to apply maybe you want to do more ruffles a little bit and shape it up more as you want it but I think um, we do have some veins in here not exactly perfect but you can work with it so now let's see this the other one little I'm gonna get a little bit more of the clay and we're gonna check this other shape see how this gonna work if it's any better or not maybe a little bit more let me just smooth this out when you roll in a bowl the clay would warm up between your hands and soften faster Okay, just a little bit and let's put in here and we're gonna press and I'm not gonna press too hard because kind of sticking this clay is really soft right now okay let's see if this one little one is better or not okay definitely okay don't look on this part this is was behind uh, the mold but up there up we can see the oldest veins it's not much visible because it's white but when you tone with some uh, pastels different color you would see better and here's on the inside I tear a little bit in here I guess I have a, a sharp point probably in here so after all that's how you create your own molds you just have to work kind of slow and more precise pick up the better petals so this petals wasn't really the best one but through the summer I'm gonna have lots of flowers and roses in my garden as well and I like to do molds from hydrangea leaves so we will create more molds in the future this year but for now guys I hope you like this tutorial something for you if you never try one this is really really um, kind of addictive I don't know I love to create molds so I definitely will do I will find perfect rose petals so I can create more uh, with, with better veins visible but for now this is good enough so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join me in my next video